in outer space, notions as top and bottom, left or right, front or back are not really uh, operational. That calls for a complete remapping of our sense of orientation, proprioception, and also the parameters that we use on Earth. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm Nora Khan. You're joining me for a conversation with pioneer Eduardo Katz and artist Ho Jun Song, both battle against reductionism in vision and in life of how we understand ourselves and our places in the world. First, I wanted to talk with both of you about your journeys to your more recent work. So if you wanted to introduce yourself briefly. In 1983, I started to develop holographic poetry by writing with light in space and time I felt that I could give my viewers the experience of language free of the constraints of gravity. This led me to think of communication in a larger sense beyond language to push telecommunications into the realm of physicality. I've been known as a media artist in South Korea, but then uh, what I mostly did was more about like uh, creating uh, narratives. So for example, I made a radiation jewelry, which is uh, a jewelry for the people who wants to commit suicide, but then actually uh, will remind people to think about the meaning of our lives. But I want to use this kind of a physical medium to make some narratives in between uh, people. Most of my projects are related to the so-called computing culture, how we use all the computing languages. I'm curious about what both of you think about your relationship to telematic art. Edward, of course, you're known as a pioneer of telepresence. So could you speak a little bit about your relationship to distance? Traditionally, art uh, has been predicated on presence, and that meant that there will be physical contiguity between the artwork and the, the viewer that would have shared conditions. The question is not to simulate presence at the distance, but rather invent new modes of presence. And that is what I try to develop in my art practice, especially since 1986, when I presented my first work of telepresence, which to me means the coupling of telecommunications and physicality. And Ho Jin, how have you thought about communication within your practice? For my satellite project, there were no formal examples, so I was kind of afraid that I might not be able to launch my own satellite. So I had, to, I just have to spread the word and I have to get support from the people. To me, I was actually using the communication uh, for communication's sake. And then uh, since it's open source satellite project, so to me, how can I um, talk about my project to other people was really important issues. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.